Hi, I'm Adam from Yoyota, and in this video, I'll show you how to restore files from an LTO tape. To follow along, you will need a copy of Yoyota LTFS, a compatible LTO drive, an LTO tape containing some files, and a hard drive. Let's get started. For any LTFS tape, including ones made by other archive tools, you can use Yoyota to restore an entire tape or selectively restore some files. Before we do that, Let's create a new project so that the snapshots Yoyota creates are stored in a logical place. Open the project browser and click Open Projects. In my case, I'll select the Yoyota Getting Started collection and create a new project called LTO Restore. I'll select a frame rate of 25 FPS and click OK. Yoyota will close the project window and I'll close the project browser. Load the tape into the LTO drive. Click the plus icon above the jobs list, select the LTO tape in the media list, and click Add Selected. A new job will appear in the jobs list. If you want to restore the whole tape, add a destination and click the green button to start the job. Yoyota will mount and index the tape, then copy and verify all files. Whilst I could restore the entire tape, this will take a few hours. All I need to restore is the ARRI footage, so let me show you how to do that. Select the current job and click the folder icon at the top of the main panel to open the source browser. Yoyota will automatically mount and index the tape. After a few moments, the file browser in the centre of the panel will populate. In the file browser, you will see a green dot next to each folder. As we navigate through the folder structure, there are green dots next to every file as well. This is how Yoyota indicates what files and folders will be included in the job. If we want to deselect everything, then go to the root of the folder structure. In my case, I'll click on YOY001 and then click the minus button at the bottom right of the file browser. The green dots disappear. To select specific folders or files, we can navigate through the file browser using either the mouse or by pressing the left and right arrow keys. To select a specific file, highlight it and click the plus icon at the bottom right of the file browser. We can select a range of files contiguously by shift clicking, or we can select entire folders. The green dots return to indicate we have selected files. If we have only partially selected the contents of a directory, you will see an orange dot next to it. I'll deselect all the files by Alt and clicking on the minus icon at the bottom right of the file browser. I will then navigate to the O1 camera test footage, ARRI, ARRI Alexa 65, ARRI RAW folder, and use the keyboard shortcut of Command and Equals to select it. A green dot appears next to the ARRI RAW directory to tell us it has been selected. I'll use the keyboard shortcut Command and U to update the job, and then close the source browser. Now, back in the main panel, the job will have updated, and in the source information table, you should see only ARI files in the list. Note that when an updated job is re-indexed, it will revert to including all files. The alternative is to make a new job. If this is re-indexed, the selection will not be reset. I'll select a destination and press the green button to start the job. As well as manually selecting files, Yoyota can use filters and sets to do an advanced selective restore. I'll cover this in a future video. And there you have it. How to restore files from an LTO tape using Yoyota.